Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Alright. So we have one here from Green Flash Brewing Co. And it's Hazy West Coast IPA. And um... It comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. It says, this laid back hazy IPA is flowing with tropical flavors and fresh citrus hops aromas. All right. I've never had this before. I've never seen it before. So first time for this. I picked up a six pack of this, a 12 ounce cans at Whole Foods for, um, it's about, um, 14 bucks out the door so a little bit more expensive than I would say a budget craft but not too bad you know not too bad so let's check it out let's handle this and uh, that's what the can looks like all right all right let's check it out been a while since I've done a green flash beer. Um, used to see them a lot, but uh, not so much anymore. I'm not sure what happened to them, if they got bought out or not. But um, it's been a minute. I remember they had one called a uh, Hot Bullet. It was really good, but I haven't seen that in years. Um, just I just saw their main ones, like just the West Coast, and not much else really from these guys. Not much else. Um, I think they're from San Diego. Let me double check on that. Got a nice head there. It's real tight looking though. Frothy and creamy, creamy, silky looking. Not very foamy. I wanted to check out and um, see if they're still in San Diego here. Hmm. Oh wow, they're from Fort, Fort Collins, Colorado. Wow, okay, they must have moved because I could have swore they're from San Diego, but now it says Fort Collins, Colorado now. Huh. I wonder who bought them out. Let me see here. Um, doesn't say well could always just um, google it best by date 9 28 23 so it's it's really fresh. Today's uh, 527, so this, this must be like less than a month old. So uh, let's check it out. That's what it looks like. It's pretty hazy, like a light orange or like a, like a real hazy amber. It looks good actually. All right. I mean, if this is really tasty, that's a fairly good price for what I paid for it. 14 bucks. All right. Okay, I have it. A little lacing on the glass already there. Check out the aroma. Oh wow, very nice. Very nice aroma. Wow, that, that caught me off guard. Big pineapple notes and some orange, a little grapefruit. 
It smells delicious. Very tropical smelling. Very, very tropical. Some mango coming through. I can smell it from here. I smell guava. It smells just real tropical. Pineapple, -y, guava, mango, grapefruit, oranges. It smells delicious. Really does smell delicious, man. Awesome. I'm happy. I can tell this is going to taste good. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's very good. That's very good. Taste is following the aroma. Oh, yeah. Good job, Green Flash. Shit. Who's from Fort Collins? Can't remember what brewing that is. Um, Fort Collins. Is it? Can't remember off the top of my head. But anyways, I'm wondering if they got bought out by that brewery I'm thinking of. Fort Collins. Wow. Can't remember who that is. But uh, this is tasty. Very citrusy, juicy, tropical. Very good job. Medium mouthfeel. It's got a little fizziness on the tongue. It's pretty refreshing. Yeah. Lots of flavor. Just a touch thin on the malt though. Just a touch. I would like a little bit more malt, especially in the back end. And possibly a little smoother. It's a little prickly on the tongue with the carbonation like soda pop a little bit but on with that said it's just, it has a lot of tropical tropicaliness going on which is nice very nice yeah kind of hits like a soda pop with the tingly like seven up almost but on a hot day this would be very satisfying very satisfying satisfying it would be I like it I like it like it I do my Yoda coming out what can I say um it's delicious I still haven't figured out how to pause that yet so I gotta do a little homework so we're gonna let this rip right now I'm gonna take a couple more sips on this and um, we'll wrap this puppy up and um, no booziness or nothing like that. No raw alcohol notes. Let me dye this. Let me kind of get this maybe flatten out a little bit for me. Seems like it's just the carbonation's just a little much for my liking. I like my beers a little smoother, a little slicker. Not so prickly. Little lemon zest coming through. Whole bunch of notes, man. Not really leaving much lacing on the glass, though. That helped. Mm. What is that note? Maybe a papaya or something coming through. This is pretty complex. Complex it is. I like it. Papaya. There's some lacing. Finally. This is turning out to be very good. I'm enjoying this very much. Excellent beer for a hot day that then you want a beer that's gonna quench your thirst and just have all kinds of tropical, juicy, yummy notes right here. This is excellent. This is a very one, good one. Look at there's some lacing now. Maybe a little grape, like a maybe like a green grape. Very crushable, very sessionable. 
this is the best one I've had from Green Flash in a while because I haven't had them in a while but um, this is a decent one man I would grab it if I was you it's worth it I think it is it's tasty it's got a lot of flavors be excellent um, you know like a first timer that wants to get into IPAs this would be a good candidate because it actually does taste really good so I'm gonna swill it one more time we'll wrap this puppy up hopefully my camera's working I sure hope this remote does pausing because that's going to help me a lot. Um, I'm debating whether to take that back or not because of that options. I need to be able to pause this thing, man. It's always something, you know what I mean? I got used to my laptop where I can use the mouse and just pause the recorder, you know, with the mouse, with the little hand. But I ain't got that with this setup. Dang it. I'm going to kill this here with you. Cheers. crushable oh yeah a little green coming through a little green hop this is complex I wasn't expecting it to be this complex granted it is ultra fresh I don't I think it's like maybe three two three weeks old it's super fresh I like it it's yummy it's very yummy problem with this one is I'm gonna probably I would crush that six-pack probably well, probably in one night but it tastes like a good quality beer so I don't think it would give me too much of a hangover with that's it last train home with that said scale of one to five stars two and a half BNC average uh, just tough I think it's very tasty if it had a little bit more malt and a better, a little bit better mouthfeel, I'd give it a higher score. But I'm, I'm thinking 4.4. Maybe. <laughs> so 4.4 it is. <laughs> Excuse me. And that's my story. I'm gonna stick with that. And I'll pretend like there's some beer in here. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Hit the like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified. And cheers and have a great day. Later.